is your favorite color sheet stylist and this is talk about it tuesday where i take this time out for training for new stylists um stylists on this team and then prospective people that want to know a little bit more information about what i do all right so today we are going to talk about how to actually sell color street um so there are a couple of different ways that you can do this honestly i've tried a lot of them <laughs> so i'll start from chronologically when i first started um so when i first got my starter kit i decided that i was just going to bring it with me everywhere cynthia i love you so much you are freaking amazing you guys this girl is a trooper. She has been in Oklahoma working her butt off through all of these floods. I love you, girl. You are strong and magnificent. You are my dog. All right. So when I first got my starter kit, I was like, well, they, it comes with a little color street bag. And I am just going to bring that with me everywhere with my 10 sets and with my and with all 70 of my samples. Hey, Bree, How you doing, my love? I miss you. I hope you come back into town soon so we can hang. <laughs> So that's what I did. And the first day that I did, I was actually at the mall and I met a girlfriend of mine who, who I helped with some strips before and she was like, do you have any on him? And I was like, yes, I do. And so I pulled them on my bag and I ended up selling four sets. That was amazing. So that's one way you can do it. It's just keep it on your person. Um, you agree that was a good way for you. Um, another way that you can actually go about doing Color Street is with a VIP page. Like, I love you guys so much, because, especially like people like Cynthia and Brienne and Cassandra, because you guys are always giving me positive feedback, figuring, you know, letting me know what you like and what you don't like, you know, what sales I can do for you. Um, and so it's really good to have positive people in your life that'll give you feedback. And of course, VIP groups, we do sales. Like we had her $9, nine month sale. Um, we do our wall drop Wednesdays now. What, you want this? Okay, so definitely a VIP group is great because not only do you get a chance to um, be around people that that will pour into you but you get to try th try different things try different try so many different sales um, we are a part of team brilliant the South Florida brand and if you look in their files there are so many different options for just selling like doing different sales in the VIP group so that's two number three is what you guys see me doing every weekend like literally I've been blessed to be working my business every weekend meeting new people and that's through vendor events um in south florida they have a really big community outreach where um where they do a lot of functions just to bring people out and about and together um so the, the monthly one we do is dania after dark um we just finished the riviera beach marina um i'm doing going to be doing the va hospital that one is every second wednesday and then we and then now that we're getting into the summer we're going to be shifting out um so that's another one a vendor event is always a great way to meet new people um the next way is once you actually start establishing these relationships with your customers, you can you can say you know what let's have some fun let's do let's do some parties. So um, my w one customer of mine, she actually she was like Kim, I need a nanny. Can you come over? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, what do I need? I'm like, have clean nails. I will bring everything else. If you want to invite people, go ahead. I'm bringing my daughter. She brought her cousin. And she and her cousin are retired school teachers. God bless them both because you guys are amazing. Um, we ended up having a ball for an hour just playing through nails. They were trying things. And I ended up selling a, like a baker's dozen, 13 sets for two people, which was awesome. Loved it. And we're going to be redoing another party. So that's always a fun way to do it, especially if you're going to be like me and have on-hand inventory to show. Um all right what's another way um facebook parties now i have i know a couple of amazing people like jenna marie she does us born books for um so books for for children she is the bomb at facebook parties and i actually know a couple of color street consultants that are amazing there are some templates actually available for that i personally have only had like one or two parties but i'm a vendor girl i i like what i like i like vending um I like vending and parties, so that's another way to do it. Um, what else? What's another way to do it? I don't know. Am I missing any? You guys tell me. 
Um, but yeah, so those are basically different different ways that you can actually t work your business. Now, how do you know what's going to work for you? Well, it's going to be trial and error. Like, if you see, you guys see this manicure? This is Havana Honey. This is freaking gorgeous. I, w I won't lie. This is a really pretty, just natural, neutral manicure. It's pretty. It's perfect. It could definitely be, you know, something that I could wear, but y'all know me. It's not me. I'm glitters and designs and funky big hair and a baby crying on my shoulder. So I, but I, but I didn't know unless I tried it. So try different events. I mean, if you don't, if, if, you know, if you want to work within a budget, then Hey, do your VIP group. This is free for me to talk to you guys all the time. If you're like me and you do a lot of at home sales, I literally have just envelopes and I just mail out from my personal inventory. If you do find vendor events, or if you find somebody to team up with, with vendor events, ask me like literally you guys are, you guys are learning. If you want to shadow me, that's what I'm here for. Come and visit. Hang out with me for a, for a weekend. I'll let you know where I am. I promise. I'm getting better at letting people know where I'm going to be. Um, but yeah, you you don't learn unless you try, and you're not going to be able to try unless you ask. So open up. Figure, remember what it, your goal is for your business, how you want to work this. If it's a hobby, then hey, work it like a hobby. But if you want to be have, have a business, work this as a business. Carve time out for learning, personal development, as well as business development, okay? All right. I think that is it for me. Wall Drop Wednesday is tomorrow. So visit PikaPretty.com and let me know if there are any particular colors that you want. I will let you know the theme of tomorrow's Wall Drop um, in the morning. Um, all right, guys. I think that is everything. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you, Cynthia. You are the best. You are absolutely the best. I hope for every dream for you. I hope for every goal for you. Bree, come home now. We got to go to Cracker Barrel. <laughs> oh, is that your grandma? Did your grandma just tune in and say hi? Hey, guys, um, was this helpful for you? Let me get some emojis. Happy, sad. <laughs> Um, let me know how I'm doing, okay? And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments for me. Um, I'll d so this training is going to be every Tuesday. So if there's anything that you need, let me know, okay? All right. We are going to get ready for Sophia the First slash pool time. All right. Love you guys. Bye-bye. I know. She looks like Pierre. She's Pierre with a sex change. It's crazy. I was just an incubator. <laughs> Bye.